Today we're going to use the power of Photoshop to change the weather by making it rain within a photograph. We'll incorporate various tools and filters to not only create a downpour of raindrops, but also make adjustments to the image to give the appearance of a wet surface with reflections of the surrounding environment. This effect works best with street images set at night because the darker backdrop helps make the raindrops visible and the hard asphalt roads and pavements can be adjusted to create realistic puddles. I'll be using this street photo by Yeshi Kangrang from Unsplash.com. Open your chosen nighttime image in Photoshop. Drag the background layer onto the new layer icon to make a duplicate. Use the Command and T shortcut or Ctrl and T on Windows for transform, then right click and choose flip vertical. Reduce the opacity of the layer, then move it so the objects on the horizon line roughly match up with the originals to form a reflection. Right click and choose warp and manipulate the layer so the reflected image meets the original. Hit enter to confirm, then bring back the opacity to 100%. Add a layer mask to the reflected image, then use the brush tool to erase the upper portion using a soft black brush tip. Use the X key to flip the black and white foreground and background colors around if you need to restore areas from the mask. Right click on the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. Change the layer's blending mode to Color Dodge so the bright highlights merge with the original road surface. The reflections wouldn't be quite so crisp, so go to Filter, Blur and Gaussian Blur and enter a value of around 4 pixels. Create a new layer, then go to Filter, Render and Clouds. We need to make a selection of this clouds texture, so open the Channels panel. Then hold the Command key or Control key on Windows and click the thumbnail of the RGB channel. Switch back to the Layers panel and turn off the visibility of the clouds layer. Activate the reflected image layer, then add a layer mask. Click the little chain icon to unlink the mask from its layer, then activate the mask portion of the layer by clicking it. Press Command and T then squash the clouds mask so it only covers the lower portion of the image that contains the reflections. Squashing the clouds helps them follow the perspective of the scene. Make sure the mask is still active by clicking it again if it isn't highlighted, then go to Image Adjustments and Levels. Move the shadows and highlight sliders inwards to boost the contrast. This determines how bright the reflected lights will be. Use the brush tool to erase the highlights over the manhole cover, if you're also following along with this particular image. Use the square bracket keys to quickly adjust the brush size. Shift and click the background layer to add it to the selection, then right click and choose Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter and Filter Gallery and find the Plastic Wrap effect under the Artistic category. Set up the options with 10 Highlight Strength, Minimum Detail and Max Smoothness. This plastic wrap effect helps to add more highlights to the image to give it a wet appearance, but it's not required everywhere. Use the mask that is generated for the smart filters to erase the effect from the upper portion of the image. Remember you can switch to white to restore the effect if you remove too much. In the top toolbar reduce the opacity of the brush to around 20% to make some softer edits. Dab within the lower portion of the image to subtly erase parts of the plastic wrap effect where it doesn't look realistic. Double click the little icon next to the smart filter in the layers panel to configure some settings for this particular effect. Here you can reduce the opacity of the plastic wrap effect to tone down its appearance. Create a new layer and fill it with black with the alt and backspace shortcut. Go to filter, noise and add noise. Configure the settings to 100%, Gaussian and Monochromatic. Next go to Filter, Blur and Motion Blur. Alter the angle to between 60 to 80 degrees, then set the distance to 25. Scale up the layer slightly using the Command and T shortcut, then set the blending mode to Screen. Go to Image Adjustments and Levels, then move the shadow slider to the right until a light rain shower is visible. Add another new layer and fill it with black. Go to Filter, Noise and Add Noise with the same settings. Add a motion blur effect, but this time set the distance value to 50. You could also tweak the angle slightly to mix up the direction of the raindrops. 
Press Command and T and scale up this noise layer even further. Then set the blending mode to screen. Incorporate the Command and L shortcut to bring up the levels instead of finding it in the menu. Then adjust the shadow slider to generate more raindrops. Bringing in the highlights slider as well as the shadows can help to produce a sparse scattering of raindrops. Add one final black layer filled with noise. Apply the motion blur, but this time with 100 pixel distance. Scale this layer way up, much further than the previous two. These larger raindrops will appear closer, which would also appear to be moving faster, hence the higher blur amount. Set the layer to screen and adjust the levels to generate a light scattering of large raindrops. To reduce the uniform appearance of the rain layers, add a layer mask to each one in turn and randomly dab with the soft brush with reduced opacity. Download and open up the water splash image which is linked in the description area. Go to select an all and edit and copy. Close the image to return to the main document. Select the topmost layer, then paste in the water splash so it sits at the top of the layer stack. Go to Image Adjustments and Invert to flip this image to white on black. Then set the blending mode to screen to make the black area transparent. Use the Command and T shortcut to scale, rotate and position this water splash within the manhole cover area. Activate the Move tool, then hold Alt while dragging the image to make a duplicate. Continue squashing, rotating and scaling duplicates of the splash graphic to fill this area. Doesn't have to look too neat, as long as the area is covered by the splash texture. Shift and click all the duplicate water splash layers and use the Command and E shortcut to merge them into one. Set the new blending mode to Color Dodge, then reduce the fill value to tone down the harshness of the highlights. Paste in another copy of the water splash graphic and begin covering the foreground area of the image with several duplicates. Once again it doesn't need to be too neat, don't worry about keeping the image in proportion, just squash it wherever it will fit. Select and merge all these new layer copies and set the blending mode to colour dodge. Reduce the opacity to make it look like lots of tiny raindrop splashes. Add a layer mask if necessary and fade out the splashes into the distance using the brush tool. The final result is a heavy rain effect that you can use to give your photos or photo manipulation pieces a dramatic mood. Adding three layers of raindrops helps to give a sense of depth as the raindrops become smaller into the distance. Then creating highlights and reflections gives the appearance of a wet surface. To maximise the realism, the water splash graphic subtly adds just the right amount of texturing to make it seem like the raindrops are hitting the ground and causing ripples. If you enjoyed this tutorial or learnt any new tips and tricks, a thumbs up on the video would be really appreciated. Stick around for more of my content by subscribing to the channel and be sure to join my mailing list at Spoon Graphics to download all my free design resources. As always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.